Greetings, dabblings, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. And for those of you who have been wondering, how many days have passed in game? A full 100 have passed. Now, we are in the uh, in Sloth Day, so we've got a couple of things that we need to take care of here. One of them, however, is going to be, I think, uh, a chest or two over here would actually be quite nice. If I could perhaps have one there and one here, that would actually be quite cool. One there, one there. Ah, no! It was just slightly off. There we go. Really? I mean, okay, that well, uh, at least we got all the parts back. That's not so bad. Now, uh, I'm going to build these chests out here simply because, uh, and this was really, really good advice, uh, simply because it was suggested to me that I have a uh, an area outside where I could put all of my quest items and other, and other sundry items, and I could use both chests inside the house for cooking supplies, and honestly, that is a pretty solid idea. A pretty solid idea. So go ahead and leave those there. I also want, oops, uh, I want to drop these off for now. We'll just pop those in there. There we go. Uh, nope, let me open up my inventory somewhere else. There we go, perfect. Uh, we also don't need, necessarily need that with us, but we can just drop those over there. That should be okay. And uh, let's go and grab the odds and ends out of here the bees all of these items can be moved the jewelry can be moved as well i think more or less everything well actually the uh, the silk should come with us as well uh we can i take the carrot cutlasses it is time we we need to get get rid of these they, they're kind of clogging up our inventory and not doing much uh, good besides uh that's the trade license we don't need that one for a while these ones can actually be used for crafting so they can go and live over here. And with that, uh, our inventory is, well, a little bit uh, better managed. I mean, it's not perfectly managed, certainly, but uh, it's it's somewhat better off. And we'll also bring those with us as well. Do we happen to have any, uh, any firewood to sell? I don't believe we do. Well, we've got, <laughs> got a tiny amount that we could sell. You know what? I'm going to quickly make up some firewood so that we can take that to the town along with us. There we go. And we will quickly chop those up. It shouldn't take us over long. Uh, that being said, it is 12 of them. So uh, it may take us a little bit. Now it'll be fine. Right. So plans for today. We are going to be going to the astrologer. We're going to be having a bit of a chat with said astrologer we are additionally uh i may need to purchase some more ink from the astrology is the main reason that we're going to be heading over that way uh additionally we are going to have pretty the very next day uh, so we can begin work on a bunch of sermons which are going to be rather glorious uh now astrologer asking about the vampire attack we can't do that one for now I would like to get some acid. Now, Clotho does have some acid, does, doesn't she? Let's go over and check that out. I would possibly purchase... Do I actually have enough money to purchase anything? Uh, no. Maybe Clotho will take some some firewood. You never know. Let's go and have a have a quick check, and then we'll hop back to Sweet Home, pick up a uh, the burial certificates, and then jump over to the astrologer. And if we can do all of that in uh, in the same time, then it's actually going to be rather glorious. Uh, but we may, may be just getting a little bit too close, so I may just uh, skip picking up the burial certificates on the way there. Well, so that we don't have a repeat of uh, yesterday's kerfuffle when I missed the merchant by just a few moments. Uh, acid. Well, that's rather expensive and you don't buy any of these. Well, boop. Okay, well, we we tried, Chad. We tried. Uh, okay, well, oh, actually, I've got the barrel certificates with me. Okay, well, uh, let's use this and jump to the dead horse then first. Dead horse. Or rather, Haradric. I would like to sell you all of these, these as well, and 100 of these. There we go. That'll make us a good little bit of money. And with that, I should. I mean. <sighs> Have I got enough time, is the question. Have I got the time? I, I somehow doubt it. We need to move around. It was uh, pointed out to me that uh, we need uh, movement to recharge the teleport uh, stone, not 
time. So just standing still and waiting for it to recharge was uh, actually completely wasting my time before, but we shall see. I may be able to get to Clotho. I might struggle. If we're very lucky, I can get to Clotho and I can hop, skip, and jump all the way back to the Astrologer and enter uh, a trade with him, and, or rather enter a dialogue with him and give him the, the acid before he makes his getaway. I don't think we'll have time to trade, sadly, uh, because they will still walk away in the middle of a trade. Trade, acid, thank you, very grand. Yep. All right, let's go, quickly. Lighthouse, tonk. Hello, I have got the acid. Ha ha ha, we made it in time. Here's the acid. I think this should be more than enough. Uh, oh, that that would that was it. Oh, okay. Um, right then, I I suppose. Hmm. A little bit sad. I'm not gonna lie, but okay. Uh, well, you've got a hardcover book, uh, rather hard covers that I could use. Don't really need them. Wouldn't mind picking up a couple of extra feathers though. Let's just go ahead and pick up five just for the odds. Uh. Just in case. And I will actually pick up one soft cover. I think the rest of the stuff we're going to need, I can make myself. I hope we'll be able to make myself. I can always grab some chapters while I'm here. No, I can't. I haven't got the money anymore. All right. Well, that's fine. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. So we need to bring the restoration tools still. So that's going to be a job for Snake, which means... We still need to go ahead and do all of the work that uh, Snake wants us to do down in the dungeon. I have kind of been neglecting the dungeon runs, but there's been so much going on around the town that I've kind of felt that they, we've been too busy, basically. <laughs> it's my own fault, I suppose, but uh, may as well grab all of these apples right now. And it's going to be a little while before our apple trees start to produce. There we go. That'll do quite, quite nicely. Uh, the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and visit... Kresvold and sell him a bunch of firewood as well probably pick up the eggs on our way back as well because we're always always needing some eggs let's actually have a quick peek inside oh there, there are patrons here but I haven't got anything here uh show me your inventory you haven't got anything in your inventory well uh hmm. my apologies <laughs> They're just, they're just hanging out. Uh, may, may, maybe it's just its just a pleasant place to, to, to relax now and then. I mean, it does have a, a, a nice bit of ambiance, I, I, if I must say so myself. Uh, there we go. That'll do nicely. Thank you. Let's go and check in on Kresvold. And we can offload some of this firewood if we're lucky. Can I sneak through? No, I cannot. What, a, what an annoyingly placed uh, grinder there. There we go. Uh, is there anything I want to purchase here? Not really. I guess I could purchase the an iron ingot just to, to push Kresvold's level, but I don't think we will. I think we're going to go for the prayer for uh, prosperity for Kresvold. I think that's going to be a, a bit of a better, better move there. Okay, well, let's head back to Sweet Home. This time, for realsies, we are actually meant to be here this time. Now, there are an awful lot of items. I would like to turn... An enormous amount of these into other stuff. Uh, we've got more mushrooms. Let's go ahead and uh, make a bunch. I could make some more carrot cutlasses. Uh, two carrots for that versus one carrot to make the the uh, shredded carrot, rated carrot rather. So there's one carrot for twenty, or two carrots and some fuel to get 60. I, I, I think it's a fair, fairly obvious which one we should be going for here. Uh, I can take those carrots elsewhere though to get those sorted, so we'll probably be doing that one. Uh, we could get a little bit of fish and water to make some fish soup as well, but for the time being we just want some more pastry dough so that we can make uh, cakes. Do we have milk though? I actually don't think we do. No, we don't. So we'll leave the eggs here for now, then. Uh, drop these off, drop the apples off as well. Do we have enough to make some berry juice? Well, to be honest, I don't think berry juice is necessarily the best thing for us to go for. I wonder if we could sell the sandwiches, though. That might well be worth our time. Either way, 
I am gonna take this away. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be a bit of a scoundrel, okay? I know me, a scoundrel? What how dare anyone even suggest such a thing? But it's true. On occasion, I can be a bit of a scoundrel. Uh, I'm going to allow you to finish off that work. It probably won't take you that long. Let's go ahead and grab everything from here. I am going to uh, take the wheat up to the... Oh, there's the bishop. Up to the refugee camp. And I'm just going to let the cook use it. And then I may come back later to collect collect what the cook has done with it. Look, all right? It's just... It's, I, it's an efficient use of time. Their time. It's, it's, it's an efficient use of their time specifically. Uh, and, I, and I think this is this is perfect. Look, again, I'm the personification of greed. What do you expect? Let's uh, drop these off. There we go. Right. Uh, looks like uh, our friend over there is going to take a little while, unfortunately. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and... I think we're going to head straight down into the church cellar and see if we can't do something about the uh, chapter here, the uh, prayer. Excellent. How much wine have we got, if any? No wine yet. All right. It's going to take a while, it seems, sadly. But maybe I can already start uh, a zombie firing things across if we're ultra lucky. Let's drop that off in there. Now then, to make a combo prayer, I need a book. We should be able to make one of those. Now we've got the chapters at the very least. Oh no, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that. That's a bit of a potch. All right. And until we've got all of the perks, we're not easily going to be able to get those... Uh, uh, the silver starred... Uh, scrolls either, sadly. I'll drop the quill off over here. We don't actually need that quill. Uh, we've got plenty of them. Alright. Well, let's have a look if I can't study a couple of items. We should actually have a few that I don't need faith to study. Pretty much any of these just require science. So let's go ahead and get as much knowledge as we possibly can. There we go. And from this, uh, we'll also study the uh, paper, just to get a bit extra science points there. All of these just require just require science, and from that we will get various uh, various skill points. What I'm really looking for, though, are spiritual skill points. That being said, maybe circumspect would actually help with this. Hmm. Should probably give that a try, actually. Uh, let me grab a cake, or rather a pie. Gobble that down. Now, hopefully, we'll get a little bit of more of our studying as well. That would be very, very welcome. Yeah. No extra points there, though, that I noticed anyway. We'll see. No, we're not getting any additional skill points. That's a bit of a shame, but... Oh, well, it was worth checking. There yeah. Chaos powder. Right, it's almost midday. Oh, death powder managed to give us a fair bit of... Uh, of faith points there. Thankfully, we can work through this stupidly fast. Mind you, my inventory is slowly filling up with all of this junk, so... Uh, Double-edged sword, really. There we go. Now, I very much doubt we're gonna... Oh, damn it. Very much doubt that we're going to be able to uh, take care of all of this together. But... Yeah, I, I, I don't believe... Oh, this can be broken down into all of them. Well, 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 that's actually quite quite impressive. But I don't don't suspect that we're going to have enough time to get all of this uh, broken down and generate any items. There's spices and life powder. Well, I'm going to need to take the spices with me. But let's go and have a look at technologies. We might be lucky. Uh, there's book, and then we'll get playwright. Alternatively, if we go through there, we get Perk Writer. Well, let's get Soft Cover first. Unlock this. There's obviously no way we're going to get that, but we're going to get that one anyway, so 
Right, with that done, now can we make a book? We just need one chapter to make a book. Do we have enough of anything? I don't know. We have got... Oh, we've got quite a few, actually. Well, let's just try and craft all of these quickly. We may be able to put all of this together. You never know. Uh, I, I would be reasonably happy if we could. Let's gobble down some more food. It's hard work, you know. Who knew that, that making just pages was this, this difficult? Okay, well, we've got a basic chapter then. Let's make a chapter. We've only got a 10% chance of getting a copper star. Really? How does that even work? Okay, now a book. Uh, go ahead and do that. Now, as I'm fairly certain we won't have the uh, faith to be able to do this. Yeah, we needed seven anyway. That's fine. We've now got the book that we were, go we were going to need. So let's grab our prey. Let's grab our candles. And let's skedaddle and quickly take care of this sermon. There we go. And another. Another. There we are. All right. 37. Should be good enough. And... There. You thought I was going to miss it, didn't you? I can tell. That's two narrow calls. Ah, marvellous. Living life on the edge. Ah, church great. Seemed algorithm has said so. And now, I am saying so. Ah, still no faith overspill, though. Very sad. Extremely sad, in fact. Now, I was going to make a zombie, but... I'm going to be honest here. I think getting the combo prayer is going to be more important. We just went to all of that effort to make it possible to do it. Yeah, we're going to we're going to go ahead and make the combo prayer. I know, I know, I know. Getting another zombie friend would have been absolutely marvelous, but no. Not right now. We need to get that combo prayer made. It'll only be a copper um copper star combo prayer, but it's good enough, I think. Right, let's go ahead. Combo prayer right there. I mean, there's no way of me getting a better one, sadly, but yeah. Oof, that was a that was a heck of a lot. Right, let's have a look at this combo prayer. Does it tell me what I need? Uh, 15 needed to guarantee. That's fine. It is just straight up better. It will increase the sermon money by an additional 30%. It's not going to increase the faith, unfortunately, but that's that's fine. Uh, I'm completely okay with that for now. Uh, we will sell that later on. We can just sell that to the bishop. Because there's never a reason to use the prayer of faith at this stage. Now that we have that, there's just no point. Alright, with that done, we've got a couple of things that we can do over at the... Oh, I've gone a little bit too far. Over at the tavern, I should uh, expect. How long are you going to take? My goodness. Are you sure you haven't been sticking the wine in the wrong... Wrong place? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Oh well, okay then. Well, hopefully, if we're not terribly uh, uh, mistimed, we should be able to go and get the seeds to take over to the refugee camp as well and get some uh, some wheat going over there. You done with the job? Perfect. Thank you. All right, you're coming with me. But it's, well, actually, until we've got some wine to do something with, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's have a quick look. We've got 30 out of the 24 seeds required. There are no seeds that I can use here. So, actually, yes, you are coming with me after all. Yoink. Now, uh, where am I going to pop you? I guess we're going to pop you down here. Enjoy. You can wait until there's some wine, and then you can carry it away from me. Thank you very, very much indeed. Right, now we want to go and grab a little bit of extra wheat seeds. There we go. That'll do. Anything else we want to take? Not really. I mean, actually, I could bring all of this wheat. I'll exchange it for something else, such as the, uh, the carrots. We can take the carrots elsewhere. I think this is a pretty grand idea. Yeah, let's, let's go and take care of that, then. Now, off to the refugee camp. Hello, everyone. 
6.1 out of 9. Very, very nice indeed. Right, we're no longer making cabbages, which is probably just as well. Let's go ahead. I would like this one to be forever. Oops. Can I get that on on forever? Yes, I can. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Ah, damn it. I put it in the wrong one. Well, poop. That is a thing that has happened. Oh, well. Let's uh, pop that one on infinite. I can always just sell the cabbages, I suppose. Uh, we'll have that one on one, then. Now, let's go and check out what's going on in here. Other than the millions of cabbages... Yoink. There we go. I am exchanging you. Uh, that should do well enough for now. Now, currently... Let's have a quick candle. What can I do here? I can build the upgraded water well. If I get the bees, I can go ahead and build more beehives. Uh, I think the water well will probably be a decent one. Uh, that will use uh, a lot of the refugees' happiness, but they should be able to recover that fairly quickly, especially now that we've dropped off a bunch of wheat. That should get used fairly quickly, or at least I certainly hope it will. Uh, the other things we can do with our spare zombie right now, although we've got him in the uh, at the porter station, it may be quite some time before there's actually anything for him to carry. So I could possibly put him to work in the mines, generating some ore and or coal. That may well be worth it. The other thing, of course, is we can, may be able to get enough bees here to make our first beehive over in the uh, in the refugee camp. If we can do that, I am wondering if they might not just go straight up and make, make things like muffins. Because they'll have all of the things they'll need for it. No, we can get a single bee. My lord. How vexing. Oh well. Now it's merchant day. Tomorrow we've got a couple of things to take off to the merchant. We've got the spices to curious hiccups. We've got the trade license to start our partnership. Uh, is there anything else we particularly want to take care of for the merchant? Uh, no, I can't say there is. Wow, we got no, absolutely no bees. No, we got one bee. One bee. Ah, that's rubbish. Also, I brought back the six wheat seeds. I meant to leave them up there, but oh, oh well. I guess they're living with me now. Right, let's uh, quickly recharge a little bit. <sighs> Gotta appreciate these, these moments of calm here and there. Okay, there we go. I know, I know, I was passing loads of time. I don't care. Right, drop this off. Do I actually need the cab? I do not need cabbages on, on this scale. We will take 44 of them, so we've got two full stacks. But that is all I'm going to accept. Now, how about over here? Uh, everything else is looking fairly good. I could move these over, I guess. Really? I had acid there all along? I was clearly just too efficient before. Ugh. Oh well. I've got to go down into the church basement anyway. Uh, where are the bees? The bees are just by there. Alright, we've got five bees. Okay, well that's not too bad then. Grab these, because I'm going to need to head back reasonably soon. I'll grab the quality fertilizer as well, because I'm going to need to take that back and upgrade things. I'm also going to need the ash, so first and foremost I need to drop off all these cabbages. I'm really hopeful that Heradric will buy cabbages, as is. Because if not, that's well, going to be awkward for me. He's going to be walking around with, with, frankly, more cabbages than, and, well, actually, hmm, I don't know. I know a certain Project Zomboid character who, who might be able to make his way through all of those cabbages so that he might just possibly, maybe... <laughs> starts to gain some weight, but uh, in this case, I don't think we, we're going we'll to be suffering in the same way. Uh, right, okay, well, let's go ahead and make the armor. And then we can go ahead and make a couple more. I think we only need four supplying parts, so let's just make one craft of that. There we go. Do, actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and make two crafts of it. There we go. Right. Now then, the next step. We are going to want the jointing. 
Uh, that's going to require complex iron parts. Well, I'm going to hold on to these for now. Uh, is there anything else I want to take back? Uh, yes, we are going to be taking a few things over. So first we're going to go down into the church's basement, drop off the acid. Not going to need to take that with us. Though, thinking about it, I'm fairly certain the acid is going to be used more in the mortuary than in the church's basement. Hmm. We might have to uh, rethink that one. But for now, we can go ahead and live in here. There we are. And beeswax as well. Going to need more candles, so that's something we can take care of relatively soon. Let's hop over to the refugee camp. Bump. Hello. I still can't believe it. We were high society. Why did the king not protect us? Uh, where is... Okay, there you go. Not now. Well, that's just rude. Doing all this work for you. Let's go ahead and build that well for them. Pomp. Oh. Well, that happened remarkably quickly. Uh, sure. Fair enough, then. Go and have a quick gander at that. Has that given us any additional? Uh, no, not really. Hello. Our minds are free, my friends. We've left the shackles and prison cells behind. Uh, okay, so you've got no further quests. It's a bit of a shame, but okay. Can I please upgrade this? Yes, I can. Perfect. And can I now upgrade this one as well? Yes, also. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Right, okay. Now that we've done that, begin growing infinite wheat. And also, infinite carrots. There we are. At this point, I'm fairly certain I can take away all of the remaining seeds. We don't need them there. Eventually, we're going to want things. Uh, like maybe onions, honestly. Uh, but let's have a quick gander, see if you've done anything with all of that wheat I brought up here. Marvellous! Yes! <laughs> My plan is working perfectly. Uh, I, well, I guess I could take a couple more of these. I will leave 100. There you go. I don't think you want more than 100, frankly. Uh, but alright, you've got, you've got food for eons. I'll grab that as well. Uh, actually, we should probably... Well, I wonder, could they... Uh, are they able to use the mushrooms now and, and, and make little bits and bobs? They might be, you know. They might well be able to. Let's have a quick look. It's going up by 33%. That's that's amazing. Uh, Alright. Well, we've got no other... Uh, no present jobs to do here, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and jump back then to Sweet Home. Now, we don't actually want all of these cabbages. We really don't. Uh, we may be able to sell them to the farmer, though. That's that's my hope. Uh, if we can't, oh, we may be in a bit of a spot of bother. Uh, we might want an extra trunk down here, actually. Uh, four nails for flitch. Can I carry that? Yes, I can. If I can build an extra trunk, I'll move produce into that trunk. And the rest can go elsewhere. Uh, you've got the nails, definitely. Do we have the flitch? Now, the problem with the cabbage is, is the merchant will only buy starred produce. So, cabbages, which have no star rating, can't be sold. It is tragic, I know. But it is a reality that we're going to have to just make our peace with. Now, I can drop some things off in there. Let's uh, go ahead and grab all the produce out of here. And move it across. Now, some of this we're just straight up going to take with us. Namely, as many of the cabbages as we possibly can. Uh, and we're going to drop off the building materials. I'm going to try and keep them in the right place. I'm going to need some more chests. I guess for now we can use this chest as our metal chest. Just to keep things a little bit more more organized in our camp. Oh, I meant to take that down into the uh, into the uh, church basement as well. I could sell this. It is absolutely within my power to do so. 
And it may even be worth it. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let me go. Oh, thank you very much for dropping some more stuff off. Uh, let me just go and check. Is there really nothing I can do with cabbages? I, I can I can make sandwiches, but that is it. I guess with carrots I can make bowls of sauerkraut and sell those. That does use three cabbages. Is there nothing else I can do with cabbages? Though? Well, we've got carrots, so... How about I make a couple of those? Unfortunately, I don't have the milk, so I don't have any cakes to sell to the merchant. So. A little bit of a shame, that one. Uh, let's grab all these and drop off, say, 550. There we go. All right, let's go and make as much sauerkraut as we can. I think we can only make 10 because of the amount of salt that we have available. Uh, yeah, but that's fine. We will still use up a fair amount of items and so, uh, free up our inventory with that. So that, this should be fairly decent. Maybe be able to sell this to Haradric, which I would be absolutely okay with. Right now, the main focus for me is just to make some money, because we have been hemorrhaging money. I'm sorely tempted to just sell the uh, the jewelry as well, if I'm if I'm honest. Uh, the fish soup I actually kind of want to keep. Oh no, we have got loads of cakes. What was I talking about? We're still drowning with the things. Is there anything over here that I could use uh, cabbages for? No, not really. Uh, nope. And still a big fat nope. I can make onion rings. Might not be a bad idea thinking about it, but the main thing that we want right now is, is pastry dough. And that is going to take a little bit more, more effort for us to make. Okay, well, we'll grab all of the items that we need. Trade license, spices. Um, got a... How many more items did I need to grab for not mort? Bring the statue to jail. Okay, so I need I need to carry them all. Alright, well, I think we should be able to do this. How much room have I got in my inventory? Not too much room. So I'm not gonna fill her up with anything anything more than this. I think this is fine. I'm going to allow all of the apples to ripen before I gather any of them. Hello. Fine, okay. Uh, Alright then, well, let's hop over to Haradric. Dead horse, there we go. Hello, mate. I'd like to have a quick chat. You will buy the bowls of sauerkraut for 18 a piece as well. That's that's not too bad. I think a lot of bodies are going to be going on the pie if, if that's uh, what we can get out of it. You'll, of course, buy the carrot cutlasses. You will buy the onion rings as well but uh, for now we'll just get three from that i don't mind selling at a bit of a loss there now let's go and see if the well i guess we could just talk with the trader right now but i would like to see if the farmer will purchase the crops we've got okay i have the cure here i bought this cure for you clotho told me it would help mm, let me try it i've just sprinkled it on these fried grasshoppers Mmm, delicious. Even tastier than before. Thank you so much. So, where do you get this precious ingredient? I just made it myself. All it took was some alchemy and a bit of common sense. Interesting, interesting. I see many possibilities here. This flavor could open up many gates, even, perhaps, the palace gates. I need to arrange a dinner for some royal council members. And that's where I need you to help. I need you to cook a great dinner for five people. Just make some snacks, a main course, and some dessert. But they should all be of the highest quality. Why me? I'm not good at all this cooking stuff. I can trust no others all in the town. The stakes are too high. Why don't you cook it yourself? Nonsense, I'm a foodie, not a cook. Don't worry. You can do this. And that spice you made. It'll make this dinner unforgettable. Okay, well, I have a trade license as well. Right, now we're in business. Between my connections and your hard work, we'll be super rich. But first, something, 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 something. That wasn't even my mouse double clicking. 
We'll open our first office in this barn. Seems like a startup. This is more gloomy than I remember. We'll put pallet here and I'll take crates of goods from you every merchant day. Crates? That's right. We're in big business now, so we need to pack our products. You're a handy fellow, and I know you have a workshop near your graveyard. I'm sure you can pack everything into nice wooden crates. You know, our trade license allows us to sell practically anything. We can sell any kind of goods. We don't need to pack only vegetables. Although, the food shortage has driven up prices a bit. But if you can find some cheap labor, selling other goods can be profitable too. I'll try. Let me see. I think for a start, I can sell one crate per week. That's not too much. But nobody's heard of us. We'll need to invest in marketing and make our first sale. So our company has two main goals. First, increase the prestige level to at least three, which means we'll be able to sell three crates per week. Second, sell our first seven crates. I'll be proud of us if we reach these goals. Uh, okay. All right, so how can we improve the prestige? We'll use an ancient technique that never fails. Make a bunch of advertising flyers and leave them on the office desk. Hmm, in my world, we use celebrities to boost sales. Brilliant idea, you can ask Ms. Charm to represent our company. That will definitely work. Could also advertise our company during my ceremony at the church. That's a great idea. Now I know for sure that I'm choosing the right person to be my partner. Well, uh, I will, uh, I, <laughs> I'll ask, but we, we don't actually need to ask. We don't. The most obvious way is to move them along the road. But maybe there's another way. I think the story room is connected to the church yard. But I'm a little too poorly, uh, portly to climb down there and jack it myself. Maybe I can move these crates through the top. But I'll need to build an elevator for the crates. That will not be a problem. Okay. Well, first and foremost, before I go, I would like to make a good bit of money. So you can have ten today. Honk. Here we go. I would like quite a lot of silk if I could take it. Six will do. It's a, it's a bit, it's a bit much, but it, it'll do. I'm gonna hold on to this for now. I have decided against selling them all. However, purchasing more grapes would be a worthwhile thing to do. I feel. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and get eight more silver star grape seeds. Okay. Well then, let's have a look. To build a pallet, I need more fame and more flitch. Marketing campaign will take 10 flyers. And uh, that's that's the, the lot of it. We can then go down there. It's all fairly simple. Now, it is still the very, very early morning. We've been very productive today. Let's go and see if the farmer will buy all of this cabbage off us. Because honestly, if, if, if they will, I'm just going to sell the cabbage. I don't even mind if I don't get much from it. Hello. While I'm waiting for your uh, father to pop out, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, grab a few things. Once again, just to uh, show that it's not possible. No interaction there. The only thing you can interact with are the flowers. Which, I mean, you know, isn't a, isn't a bad thing when you think about it, but still, I really would like it if the farmer would arrive so that I can sell a bunch of things to him. May as well grab all the flowers I can while I'm here. There we are. All of these will be useful in alchemy at some point, so I may as well make a point of picking them up now. Oh, some more bees as well. Hello? No, I cannot take from that beehive, apparently. That is off limits. One of the only beehives in the town that I'm not allowed to gather from. And here's the farmer. Right, let's have a chat, you and me. Oh, fantastic. I can sell them to you. Truly amazing. Also, with that, I can buy a lot of onion seeds. Uh, on um, This is... Well, I want the pumpkins. I... Mm, we want one silver star pumpkin, I believe, for Clotho. So let's just get one. And then I want all of these, if I can take them. 
It'll take us a while to build up to the amount that we need, but I'm willing to do that. I'll take all of that as well. Okay, that'll do. Please and thank you. All right, let's have a quick look. I believe Clotho needed the silver, silver star pumpkin. Yeah, there we are. Bring her the pumpkin and ask her to enchant it. Marvelous. Uh, Crate and scent, battle the horseshoes. Well, that's going to take a little while. But what we can do is right now. Wow, my inventory's getting a little bit full. Uh, use this. Hop over to the talking skull. Ah, hello. Uh, don't 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 mind me. No, just just passing through. Uh, right, I'm going to want to bring down a lot of stuff so that we can start batch preparing things. Carrot cutlet, for example, would definitely benefit from this. Uh, we've also got a chopping board. Have we got a chopping board? Yes, we do. Perfect. Uh, so we could just bring down... Uh, oh, can we not do the grated? Oh, we can't. Well, that's a little bit of a potch. That's a shame. I was going to say that we could do mass amounts of uh, great carrots, but oh, well, I, I guess that's not, not the end of the world. Uh, I'll bring down some firewood to fuel the the uh, project now. Mm. Handing these over to you, I feel with a full inventory, maybe a bit of a uh, mistake. So first, I'm going to go and drop some things off. Let's not be dumb. Uh, we can drop these off, drop the mushrooms off as well. We are then going to take the cakes because I'm going to be trading them. Uh, everything else, I feel, we can leave here. That's 10 in total, which is going to be quite nice for us. Uh, I'll also leave the jewelry down here because it, right now it's either a quest good or it is a trade good. And now we've got uh, everything we need there as well, which is actually pretty cool. Right. Want to drop off the seeds. Uh, we want to take the grape seeds with us elsewhere. Uh, did I only buy one pumpkin seed? No, I bought the pumpkin. It's fine. It's fine. For a moment there, I thought I'd gone mad. Uh, but it's fine. It's not a problem. Okay. Right. The silver star grapes we're going to take up to the vineyard. Then we're going to go over and say hello to Clotho with the uh, enchantable pumpkin. Then finally, we're going to jump over to the Talking Skull and check in on Jerry. I think this is a uh, good plan. It's certainly as good a plan as any, in my opinion. Uh, let's drop these off here. Have we got enough? We do. We, we can now start the production. Right, I'm going to drop that down to one of infinite silver grapes. Oh, this is fantastic. We've now got enough to just keep making silver star grapes. So, setting up a second uh, second vineyard there would be really, really good. If we can start shipping those in, then that is going to be absolutely marvellous. Right, let's go ahead and say hello to Clotho. Oh, actually, no. We need to uh, walk there, unfortunately. We don't have a rapid transit to the swamp. Which is a little bit of a shame, frankly. I feel it would be quite useful to be able to just uh, hop over to the swamp, but oh well. Uh, may as well go down this way. There we go. Right, let's go and drop this off. Not going to need it for a little while. I can leave that in there. There we go. And I guess I could make a uh, prayer for faith out of a silver chap if we could make it but odds of us getting that are fairly slim right now i feel what are my technologies like oh oh oh, oh we can get writer sometimes you even manage to write down a good sentence mother would be proud well we'll check out how good of a sentence we well actually it looks like clotho is probably not going to be there now so we may as well okay so we have got writer so our chance of uh, getting a uh, silver note, it has gone up reasonably, reasonably high. Very happy with that, actually. There we go. Pretty perfect. There we are. If we can get a silver chapter, then I may even make a prayer of faith. I know the combo prayer would be grand, but 
right now that's uh, a little bit more important for me to have the faith really because that that's what's uh, that's what's holding me back every day all right let's make a bunch of it wow okay so i can just make a soft cover just like that okay fair enough uh, we'd need tanning agent and a soft cover to make a hard cover. Okay, well, that's, that's not at all too bad. Let's go ahead and make... Uh, we'll use 10 of this to make 40 clean paper. That shouldn't be too too difficult for us. And we're even stocking up a little bit on some extra skill points. Not too bad at all. Now, I've got a funny feeling that we're going to miss our, our first delivery of, of wine to the tavern. So we'll just show up there one day, and there'll be money for us to collect. And that's going to be grand. But to uh, ensure that I would actually see it, I would need to take our zombie off the porter station. And I'm, I'm more in favor of uh, a surprise amount of money sitting there than not. All right. Final one we need. Let's go ahead and get this one done. Is it silver? Yes, it is. Oh, right. Right. We've only got a 40% chance of getting this, though, which is a bit of a pain. But, well, we'll risk it for a biscuit. Biscuits are quiet! Glorious. Now, Prayer of Faith. A 60% chance of getting a Silver Star Prayer of Faith. Ah, oh, biscuits were lost. We acquired them only to lose them. Life can be so cruel. So cruel. Oh, well, we've got two prayers of faith then to sell that. <laughs> that sucked, actually. <laughs> that sucked enormously. Oh, well. Oh, we've got some uh, extra faith down here. Especially because we used a whole five faith to attempt that and fail it. Wah, 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 wah. Let me drop this off and drop the faith off as well. Uh, that said, while I'm here, I guess I could study something. Let's go and have a look at what we can study. Uh, we've studied everything down there. I could study probably the pigskin paper, actually. Uh, is anything going to give us faith points? No. Uh, well, I could study the, the pumpkin, but I, I don't think that's going to work out for us. Oh, that, that requires three anyway. That requires four. There we go. Let's study this. There we go. can break that down into quite a few things, actually may well need to use that. All right, we do have enough money that once we visited Clotho and gotten the enchanted pumpkin. Uh, actually, let me just uh, refresh my memory. Eight planks, four jointing. Nothing too terrible for us, but once we visited Clotho and gotten the enchanted pumpkin, then we should be able to go ahead and, uh, you know, I'm just going to be super lazy. Now we're going to go to Sweet Home, because I just noticed the time. But we're going to go ahead and go and buy some bees so that we can try and get some more hives for the refugee camp. But that's going to be it for today's episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed, though, and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, our church great. <laughs>